His words. <laughs> Please welcome the charming Prince Jacob, everybody. Charming! First of all, good evening. It is very good to be here. No? Yeah. It was beautiful travel all the way from Main Street. <laughs> what is it with this Main weather? I was born on a leap year, so I have the right to be a procrastinator. <laughs> oh my god, 20 plus years I've been in the state of Maine. It's beautiful, grand old, white ass state of Maine. <laughs> uh, but seriously, the, the whitest thing ever just happened the other day. I couldn't believe it. I was sitting in class and I hear, you might know this. <laughs> It's been three and a half decades. The show's not coming back. <laughs> Jesus, man. And fuck you, because it's been six weeks and I still haven't got that song out of my head. <laughs> Jesus. But you know what? You know what really was tough was having the theme song to Cops stuck in my head for three decades. <laughs> Bad boy, bad boy. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? What do you mean? What am I gonna do? Stop, drop, and roll, you better. <laughs> Jesus, do I really have options? <laughs> and so now all of you have that stuck in your head. <laughs> That's right. Take the empathy lesson and become a better person. <laughs> I wrote a poem for Winter. Right. Winter, you bitch. <laughs> I'm tired of your ass. Please leave. I'm over you. <sighs> Working on my poetry. <laughs> yeah, don't mind my nerves. It gets me to caucusizing here. <laughs> He had the advantage, though. You gotta give it to him. He was married to a black woman. Black queen! Michelle be like, I know you ain't tweeting no bitches no selfie. <laughs> How about who this emoji? No? Yep, that's a color purple reference, and I knew you wouldn't get it. But my mama got it. And Leonard might get it later. It's all good, though. It's all good. Black does not crack. <laughs> Boom, and I'm living proof, baby. Jumbo size. Uh, yeah, no, doesn't. No, Twenty years, and I've been trying to get out, but PlayStation has had me in the sunken place. I'm like, what do you mean go back to Africa? I can't leave my gaming chair. <laughs> I love her. Uh, vain though, a vain woman, I have to say. Uh, when I was little, she primed my little head with live chemical cream because they wanted to take the natural kink out and make it straight. Uh, yeah, I'll never forget the looming threat of blindness. <laughs> Mom's sweet voice is fading soft aloud. Uh, now, keep your eyes closed or I'll slap the shit out you for going blind. <laughs> Don't have any options there. I'm gonna get fucked up one way or another. <laughs> but she was a nice lady. She gave good advice. She told me and my brother when we were very young, don't you go marrying no white girl. Like we, we lived in Cape Cod, by the way. <laughs> Again, no options. <laughs> and don't become a cop.
And so when I was in the fourth grade, that's like way back in the 80s, believe it or not, I got suspended for that. They're like, oh, now yellow black ass is out of here. I actually gave the ground the middle finger. I was getting bullied. I was frustrated. Gave the ground the middle finger. You get home. Oh, you got suspended, huh? Okay. Mom's butterfly voice. Go ahead and go upstairs and run the tub. Take off your clothes and get in the tub. I'm going to be in the yard. Oh, gardening. Looking for a nice, long, flexible switch to tear that ass up with. I went from rubber ducky to holy fucky real quick. Oh, man. Life, life was really traumatizing, though, to be uh, an inambiguous black youth in a predominantly white environment. <laughs> Nothing's changed. <laughs> and so at least one of you is exacerbating my anxiety right now. <laughs> Don't you go marrying no white girl. Like we, we lived in Cape Cod, by the way. <laughs> Again, no options. <laughs> and don't become a cop. Okay. 